buzzing. So last Saturday, when um, to cheers from the graduating class, reggae superstar Shaggy was conferred with the honorary doctor of fine arts degree from Brown University, from the highly respected Ivy League institution located in Providence, Rhode Island, USA, decided to give him this honor. Yes. After delivering the oration to the class of 2020, graduates who missed their in-person ceremony owing to the pandemic, Shaggy filled the auditorium with the sounds of reggae and dancehall music as he performed a medley of his hit songs that had the graduating class out of their seats and singing. It was a moment. So the citation from Brown stated, your style, your voice, and your influence on reggae and the genre's growth in American pop culture cannot be overstated. You are recognized world over for your success as a musician, your leadership, and philanthropy. As soon as Shaggy posted the video clip to social media, his colleagues eagerly lined up to offer their congratulations. Now, among those showing their love were Spice, Ding Dong, Grams Morgan, Taurus Riley, Tony C.D. Kelly, Gene Noble, Kemar Haikon, Tenille Amore, Don Carleone, OMI, and Nikki Bourbon. Did you not, not say congratulations? I now? did. I don't, I don't see your I name upon the TV. Yeah. You never said no? Rude. You know you, did, did you say it on social media though? I did, I did, I did. I think it was really cool. I watched, I watched the whole thing. I thought it was, I thought it was dope. I was proud, very, very proud. Um, and it was interesting for you, like Mr. Bombastic in a, in a setting like that. Yeah. <laughs> like when we start seeing the Mr. Lover Lover, like, he's like, he's the doctor, Doctor Lover Lover. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you don't can't, can't call him Mister anymore. <laughs> Dr. Doctor Boombastic Doctor is his Boombastic. name now. Hello. Yeah, I'm so proud. Yeah, I'm so proud. Proud of him. I'm proud of the work that he's done. Um, you know, I saw it for go. I saw it for stay. Yeah, it was a good feeling. I was having a conversation with you earlier about um, being in positions to influence. Mm -hmm. And I think that, that Shaggy is one of the people that, that, that makes this very clear. It's not so much about having a voice and just being outspoken and vocal with it and saying things and going against the status quo. You have to be in positions that you can influence change before you start going off your mouth. I 100% you know I mean? agree with that. And I feel like he also put his money where his mouth is. So he didn't bother the bag of talking. He just put himself in a position yeah. and he used his, his platform to do great things. Yeah, and that's awesome. Like a lot of people just run off their mouth and yo, and like what you're doing. Oh, well, you know, so we're really proud. And it's sure it's from really the congratulations, the amount of people yeah. that influence and inspire. Yeah. So and he does seem to be that kind of person that's always like bringing people with him, like for your colleagues to respect you. Yeah. And these high up people to really say such nice things about him, you know, it's well deserved. So we're proud of you, Shaggy, Dr. Bombastic. Um, <laughs> enough love. All right, so Jamaicans have made their mark on the world stage. So it's no surprise that some countries worldwide have found a way to honor its outstanding impact. Now, similar to the Jamaican government naming some local roads after foreigners, other nations have returned the favor. Now, here's a list of roads in other countries that have been named after Jamaicans or Jamaica. Yes, so number one, we have Jamaica Way in Patterson, New Jersey. Yeah, so... Go on, Tunisia. On September the 4th, 2021, Freeland Avenue between 17th and 19th Avenues in Patterson, New Jersey, uh, was renamed to make a way to recognize the outstanding contributions Jamaica had made to the city. Okay, so number two is Dr. Marcus Garvey Street in um, Windhoek, Windhoek, uh, Namibia. So the government of Namibia on July 23rd, 2018, named a street in the capital, Windhoek, um, in honor of Jamaica's first national hero, Marcus Mosiah. We also have Bob Marley Boulevard, and that's in Brooklyn. In July 2006, reggae legend Bob Marley was honored with the renaming of Church Avenue between Remsen Avenue and East 98th Street, Flatbush, Brooklyn, as... Bob Marley Boulevard. I've been on it many times. 
<laughs> nice. So the next one, number four, is Marcus Garvey Square in Bronx, New York. Hey, New York, love you know. Bah, bah, so the bah. four corners of White Plains Road and Gun Hill in Bronx, New York, United States, poor. Um, we named Marcus Garvey Square. They were renamed Marcus Garvey Square on August 22 in 2009. Mm-hmm. Moses Matalon Causeway. Okay, that's in St. Lucia. Now, late Jamaican engineer Moses Matalon was honored with the naming of the Pigeon Island Causeway in St. Lucia as Moses Matalon Causeway in 2015. When you say Moses, I'm going to swear you said David. Hey, right? Ray! Right. So, number six is um, <laughs> Johnny Way in Scarborough, Ooh. Toronto. This is in Canada, of course. So B. Denham Jolly, a uh, Jamaican-born award-winning businessman, was honored with the renaming of a street in Scarborough, Canada, Scarborough. as Jollyway in November 2019. I love that for many reasons. Jollyway, yes. I'm here for that. Mm -hmm. So Jimmy Wisdom Way in Little Jamaica, Toronto, in Canada. Now in October 2020, 2020 I was going to say 2022, but it's not. 2020, late Jamaican-born entrepreneur Ronald Jimmy Wisdom was honored with the renaming of Loxley Avenue in the Little Jamaica community to Jimmy Wisdom Way. Now, Wisdom lived, worked, mentored, and inspired in his barbershop on that street for more than 35 years. And last but not least, we have Jamaica Road in um, Southwark, London. Hover. <laughs> and this is in England. The road came into existence in the 18th century and was then called New Road. Um, what's up? Its mm. present name was derived from the trade carried out with Jamaica and its citizens at the nearby dog stocking London um, Larder. Mm. The provisions, uh, the year of the name change to Jamaica Road is unclear though. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's nice. I like it. I like it. I like the sign. Yeah, I think we should do a lot more of that here in Jamaica as well. Just change everything to, you know, change everything. Because oh, we still have a lot of, you know, residue of, you know, the I mean, colonization. Don't have, don't have Craig so, Craig, you know, I feel like Nisha Yen Lane. I'm here for I mean, it. I'm a Craig Town already. Craig Town, a, yeah, a, a, a. You know what? <laughs> On that note. On that note. Daytime Life will be right back. And when we come back, we'll have some more chat, we'll mm -hmm. a discussion. Yeah, we love our chat, you know. We don't want to miss that. Listen. Yeah, some really love chat, but we like discuss. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> so far.